So, Battlefield 2042 has been in early access for five or six days now, and it's fair to say it's been a rough start. Poor performance, laggy servers, various graphical glitches, the list goes on. However, DICE has already said about changing Battlefield 2042 for the better. To start things off, literally the moment the game went live, they disabled Dozer's shield because it was bugged and it wasn't working properly. So, disappointing not to have one of the 10 specialists essentially disabled at launch. You could still use Dozer, but there was really no point using him because his main ability had been taken away. But if it did stop people running into a game-breaking issue, then taking it out of the game was definitely the right choice. Interestingly, this is actually a new thing for DICE, being able to disable individual items that have issues. Previous games, those didn't have access to this server-side disabling thing they've created, which meant problematic issues like this one, or weapons that didn't work, gadgets that were overpowered, or vehicles that were, weren't working properly. They would just continue to exist within the game until the next client patch arrived to fix them. But now we've actually got a system that we've seen in other games. It's kind of similar to Fortnite and Warzone, where individual things can be quote-unquote vaulted, taken out of the game temporarily, and then potentially fixed and returned at a later date. If they can't be fixed quickly, then they can just be left off until a client update can come out and fix them properly. It's a pretty cool system. Like I said, it's disappointing they had to use it on day one to turn off something quite vital, but, you know, if it stopped people running into a bug, I think it was the right thing to do. Dozer's shield has now been enabled again, so DICE have actually been able to fix the issue, which is pretty cool. Next up, the rubber banding. I'm sure you've experienced this if you're playing on the Xbox Series X or S, PlayStation 5 or PC, where 128 players is active. This started a couple of days ago, I think. It wasn't there on day one of early access when the game sort of launched. It kind of just started happening a couple of days ago. Apparently, according to DICE, this was something that they've traced back to the proxy nade, the one that people started unlocking after a couple of days and are now using a lot more to light up enemies on the minimap. It's actually a really helpful nade when playing Breakthrough, since enemies tend to like pile up on the capture points, so you can get a lot of people in a single grenade throw and it just lights up the minimap like a Christmas tree. Plus, they do actually help XP gain as well, so I can see why lots of people are using it at the moment. Um, I'm not sure how a grenade that doesn't do any damage in-game causes servers to poop their pants, but I guess that's game development. I don't really understand how it works properly. But they've identified the problem as the proxy nade. They've now disabled the proxy nade and they're going to keep it disabled for the foreseeable future because it seems that the rubber banding has stopped now that they've disabled it. Which again, it's disappointing that they found an issue so soon after launch that they're having to stop using something in-game. But again, if it's going to stop the rubber banding and affecting the performance of the entire game for all 128 players on that server, then again, it's definitely the right thing to do. And then as well, DICE has decided to make some changes to the breakthrough game mode. They've upped the starting tickets for the 128 player version to 600 from 400 in the first sector. And then the attacking team is then given 300 tickets when they take control of a sector and they secure it instead of the previous 150. So this means they're just giving attackers more of a chance to push through sectors. In fact, a lot of my breakthrough games would actually end in the first sector with defenders holding on really well, or they'd kind of just like fizzle out in the second or third sectors because we'd run out of reinforcements. It meant that the defenders were winning a lot more often than the attackers were. So I think DICE is trying to like shore up that average and bring them a little bit closer together. And the 64 player versions for the Xbox One and the PS4, they're both getting changes for breakthrough as well. The starting tickets is going up to 300 and they're increasing the number of tickets to 150 per captured sector. So only five or six days after the launch of 2042 and DICE is already making some pretty big changes to the game. And we think there's actually going to be a day one patch on Friday when the game officially launches on November the 19th. And I actually wanted to address something because lots of people have been asking me to make a video about all of the bad things that have been happening with 2042. Highlight the issues to the developers and, and be a voice within the community. I'm absolutely happy to do that and I will pass on feedback on behalf of others and I will make videos that highlight problems so that they get the attention that they need so they can be fixed. But I've actually been waiting for the first patch to drop. And like I said, that's rumoured to be happening on Friday when the game officially launches. That patch is what we're supposed to get 
as part of downloading the game on day one. But since a lot of us have been playing in early access, seven days before the official launch, we haven't had access to that first patch yet. And we won't know what it's likely to address until it launches, because I don't think DICE is really going to talk about it in early access, because, well, I think they're just kind of trying to make sure that the game is functioning properly. And they are fixing problems along the way, so that has to be taken into account. But basically, yeah, I will make a feedback video, but probably it's going to be early next week, covering all the things that I think DICE can improve on in the game after we've had the day one patch, because there will be a bunch of things in there that fixes stuff in the game, it may introduce some more bugs. Knowing DICE, that's what happens in their patches. It's, it's something that's happened in all the previous Battlefield games, and no doubt there will be some things that are broken. So I think it's more relevant for me to make that video next week once we've had the first patch. Officially, the game was launched on the 19th, and you know we're going into post-launch at that point. I think that's when the right time is to do that video. The reason that I'm sort of clarifying this is because I've seen a few people out there saying it's convenient that I'm not making a video complaining about Battlefield 2042 and they're spreading rumors about why I'm not making a video like that and in many cases they're just completely fabricating reasons why I'm not doing it and I'm just shutting all that down because well it's not constructive it's not true and I know how to run my channel I've been doing it for a long time and I've gotten pretty good at it people just they need to control their own emotions and they need to stop lashing out at other people it's certainly not a very professional look, but yeah, feedback video will be coming soon. But for now, enjoy some lovely gameplay on Breakthrough with me and my friends just trying to enjoy Battlefield 2042 as it is right now. And there's uh, plenty of rubber banding in this video, so enjoy that one. Catch you soon. Can't wait for somebody to figure out that they can turn their game into Lego World. <laughs> Lego World. With no textures. Yeah, that's the that was the BF, uh, BF5 meme, wasn't it? Do you remember that? Yep. Was it NVIDIA Inspector or something? Some oh, mentalness yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let's knock on to plan, Westy. We've already lost two-thirds of our health. Have Whoa. you guys run in? No, I... You've left me it. You've left me again. Oh, God, it's another hovercraft. Another one? No way. I've only... I've never seen one before. Don't pretend like you're oh, not part of the problem, Broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, that's probably broken. the first one to post a streak with one. <laughs> and it's all downhill from there. Wesley just slammed that door in my face. I gotta keep hiding the chat. I, I can't read it. Nah. It's, 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 yeah, just horrible. it's annoying. I should be able to turn it off by default. Well, yeah, it should just be an option to have it off permanent. <laughs> This is the I thing. literally couldn't care less what people have to say in the chat. Yeah, so there's reload. a lot of good feedback there, but I, f I feel like some of it is a bit, a bit too negative. At times, not, 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 not everyone. Just right now, all the loud voices are varying your pronounce. Yeah, it, it can be quite varied. There's been some really great posts about like UI and UX and yeah, other experiences. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that post. That oh. was good. That was good. I think there's a guy coming behind. Oh, it's a hovercraft. There's people on these containers. Oh, God. Gosh. I've been sniped. I'm actually really enjoying Dozer now. I've been sniped from up the hill. Sundance is amazing for flanks. They just get in behind everyone. Well, Navin is fantastic Insane. for taking out vehicles. Still haven't moved away from Irish, though. I simply refuse. He is a legend. They're on top oh, of the containers God. here. <laughs> oh, rubber banding. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Reload. Intended feature. Intended feature. I just got super bullied by a PP29. Oh. Whoops. We have far less of this when we played Conquest as well. What, on the rubber band? Yeah, but Conquest is Conquest. It's the most popular game, game mode. Yeah, it is, but only because it's the first one you can pick, Lucky. It's literally the first thing you click. So of course, it's going to be the most popular. <laughs> I still think it will be this year, like in terms of how the game goes. Oh, that's hilarious. Do Dozer starts laughing when people shoot at his shield. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> really? Sort of taunting them. Oh, I like that. You have to get 80 kills with Dozer's ballistic shield to get that cool, like, gas mask thing that he has. Really? 80, 80 kills. With Bloody the hell. shield. Oh, my God. That's a lot. I'm trying to rocket this tank oh. over here. Infantry right in front of me. There's a no. lot of infantry on A1, isn't there? Yeah, I'm 
Right, I've, I've managed to flank around the back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. No, they came across and killed me. I did manage to get four kills before I died, though. I'll take it. Right. I'm Being a tank in this game is a goddamn joke. Is it just like super powerful or not powerful enough? No, it's not you powerful can die enough so easily. Everybody's got a recoilless. Yeah, that is a good point. And if you play as Rao or Navin or whatever, uh, you can you, you can from shooting. You can disable them from shooting. You can disable countermeasures. I've lobbed a grenade around that corner. If we could maybe not make that the case, that would be lovely. Dudes, why is everybody only using the PP2019? Well, because it's the best gun in the game. And the reason for that is it's got no spread. <laughs> the flow is so good here. Yeah, I'm liking Manifest more and more the more I play it. Now that people are moving more, it's great. I, I survive longer in a hovercraft than I do in a tank. Yes. <laughs> I'm going in the container. Going in yet. That was a, that was a GC Pike, I think. Oh, Dozer. Hey, 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 I've seen people use Dozer. Oh, the grenade. Oh, crap. There's a guy behind us. A guy coming behind us. Grenade. Oh, God. Grenades are not a problem. Oh, it's a glitch oh, teammate. Oh, God. Yeah, How there's a glitch teammate me? on our team who's an enemy. Who isn't an enemy, but is also an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that explains. <laughs> That, like, there are people who are posting clips on Reddit where their DMRs aren't firing straight. But that isn't meant to be the case. Like, DMRs are meant to have no spread if you're not moving. Yeah. It's more like BF4 then is their intention. Oh, yeah. You know. BF4, you start moving, it's like, oh, nope. Don't to really do that. Just got a nice triple there. Nice. Oh, baby, a triple. Nice three piece. And a biscuit. Oh, young Tanklington. Come on. Dude, I didn't even know you could get out of here. This is sick. I'm loving this. There's somebody on the crane. Oh, no. We've basically played in full player lobbies since launch, by the way. I've not seen a single AI in any Conquest or Breakthrough match yeah. that I've played. No AI at all. That's promising. Um, and I'm dead. My tank's been blown up already. Your tank has been blown? You're blowing tanks. Seven tickets, guys. Time. We need to jump on their flag. I'm on it. We're yeah, camping. I'm on it. 4-1. Four, 4-1. Four to one. On overtime right now. Hit the roof. Get your shields out. Get your dozers out. I'm just throwing grenades around. We're capping. There's a guy on the roof. What? We're capping. Oh, McKay. Come on, we're so close. There's a guy coming down to the first floor. Oh, we're good. We're good. I think we've got it. Nice. Yes, boys. We get the cap. Nice. I'm in Senor Lackey's vehicle. Oh, God. Death from above. See how many people are down here. Look at this. Um, Lackey, this is just, this is like, this may be a war crime. Gotta back us up a little bit. Oh, that's fine. Have fun. Yeah, I, yeah. Th this doesn't feel fair or, 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 or balanced. I mean, they could just equip AA missiles, but you know. I mean, no one's doing that, so. Getting a little spicy on this flag. Well, we are deleting most of them for you, hopefully. Yeah, B1, yeah. B1 should be uh, a bit clearer. Oh God, where is that? I don't know, Lucky. That was. Oh, it's another right. attack helicopter. I don't Get see ready. it. Get ready. I've seen it. Two people left on this flag. Oh, I get shot in the butt. Oh Ouch. no! I couldn't physically lock onto him there. That's pro. Did um, you get hacked? <laughs> I don't think so, but I just couldn't lock onto him at all. Right, I'm on B1. That was really cool. Capping B1. I have to say, I think we got it locked down. Yeah, I think we cleared them out. Like we it. did enough. <laughs> God's work. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> did you just uh, pancake? I just, just went into the water. Yeah, just ignore right, that. Right, we've got 35 tickets, boys. We've not got long. we got to make this push and real hard. We can do it. We can do it. So many below. I feel like the attacking team never wins on Breakthrough. <laughs> now they do sometimes. But like, I'd like to know what the data looks like for that. It's yeah, one, it's one actually, versus yeah. six on the flag, boys. Four versus seven. Oh, and it's conveniently rubber banding when I'm trying to rush in. 
Man's involved. Oh, legend. Oh. I, got, I just got rezzed. Oh, no way. Oh, they're coming down on the on the objective from the flat, uh, from the heli. 10v6. Oh, no. I've been killed again from oh, the crane. No. <laughs> We're not capping. We're not capping. Oh, my God, dude. There's so many of them. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, no. It's six versus... No, come on. Come on. Where are they? Ouch. Ouch. Oh. They're all further back on the objective. Should have won that. We're getting it. We're getting it. Yeah, I've just nice, killed nice, two. Nice, killed nice, three. Nice. Just killed three. Yeah, we've just, wiped them. we've just wiped them out off the back of the objective. Killed two on the cranes that were pissing us off. Nice. I'm lucky I can't res you. It's okay. Game oh, yeah. it. <laughs> Come on, surely. Surely. Oh, God, uh, they're back again. Balls, no, I'm balls. stuck in the revive thing. No. Why, game? Why do you do this? God oh, damn it. Oh, God damn it. I can't believe that. I literally got to the end. I wiped out so many people on that point. We were capping it. I got killed and it fought and I got stuck in the bug where you're just at zero oh, revive no. time. I couldn't move. That's the worst bug that is. That was a good game though. Yeah, it was a good game. I enjoyed that. Chaos really picked up towards the end.